Today we see the topic about the optical instruments for angular measurement. First of all, what is mean by optical instrument? Optical instrument is the light ray emission of the process to making the measurement of the components is known as optical instrument for angular measurement. So what is mean by optical instruments for angular measurement is magnification enables easy and accurate measurement of object is known as optical instruments. A monochromatic light source is ensure a high degree of accuracy to making the measurement of angle. The third principle is one of alignment. The fourth principle is interferometry. These principles have driven the development of large number of measuring instruments and comparator. So let's we see the what are the optical instruments we use to measuring, measuring the angular measurement. First we seeing the autocolorimeter. Autocolorimeter is one of the special form of telescope used to measure small angle with a high degrees of resolution. The what are the application we consider for autocolorimeter will be precision alignment, verification of angle standards, detection of angular moments. It is an uh, autocolorimeter component used to making the measurement of angle. In what are the working of autocolorimeter will be? It will be project a beam of Colorimeter light onto a reflector which is deflected by the small angle above the vertical plane. The right reflector is magnified and focused onto an eye piece or photo detector. The deflection between the beam and the reflecting beam is a measurement of angular little of the reflector. So it is a principle of autocolorimeter. In this diagram, you see means here it is a point source when the light will be focused or focal plane. Here will be focal plane, and second one is columnatic planes, and the third one is plane inspection. So in this, uh, it is the process. And second diagram on the process will be the light will be emission and it will be reflected to polymetric planes. The polymetric planes will be gather the light rays and it will be traveled in the parallel axis to the reflection plane. In the reflection plane, what will be happen means the reflection plane will be reflected the emission of polymetric light source and it will be emitted to some other places to making the deflection of the reflected plane and the reflecting plane will be deflected on the some angle it will be noted as zero dash. So the zero dash is an angle between the points of columnatic planes. So it is an angle between the columnatic planes of the process and the angle will be identified by the inspection of autocolorimeter. So theta 0 0 dash equal to x then 2 theta equal to 0 0 dash divided by focus lens. So x equal to 2 theta f. So by using the this process it rotation of plane reflected by angle theta result in the displacement of the image by an amount of then x equal to 2 theta f where f is an focal length of the object lens. So it is an another process of autocolorimeter and autocolorimeter here we see means it is a lamp and diffuser and cross line and then here we see the viewpoint eye pieces here is a beam the beam will be used to reflecting the light ray into two parts. So first one is the lamp, the light ray will be emitted on diffuser. In this diffuser what will be happen means on the light source will be gathering and it will be emitted in single light ray to cross line. The cross line crosses the light ray to beam and the beam will be reflected into two parts. One is one part will be transmitted to the eye pieces, another part is transmitted to the object. 
So by the object, it will be transmitted. The object ray will be transmitted to the inspection, and it will be reflected, and it will be transmitted to the again beam splitter. In this beam splitter, the uh, splitting ray will be transmitted to the eyepieces, and the value will be taken on the auto colorimeter. Here we see means a diagram. We show the reflection of the process. So due to the deflection of the object, we making the measurement of the auto colorimeter process. So this instrument is so sensitive that air current between the optical path and target mirror can be gases in the reading. An auto colorimeter is also inside a sheet metal or PVC plastic casing to ensure the air circuits do not hamper measurement of the